Alright guys, I am back with another White Dwarf video, and this is issue 489, and we've got a Gargan on there, and the Dark Angel Flyer, I can't remember the name of it, when's the last time you ever saw one? Um, anyway, let's open up. Shake it up. The incredible saga of the great stomp that we've been chronicling in Flashpoint Rondel series comes to a thrilling conclusion in this issue. And we'll see more about that later on. So we've got our contents page. And contact. Because it also means Chaplin. There, we've got some really cool pox walkers. I really like the orange. I think some of mine. I've got like bright orange. Got some uh, spike revenants, and the model of the month is this Lazarus, which looks really cool. I absolutely love the sort of icy um, Vindicare Assassin. Sorry, I'll get more comfortable in my chair. It's very squeaky today. Uh, Parasite and Mortex. Got a little painting question there. Got some Rusai Bloodstalkers. How do you pronounce tricky names in 40k? So few there, some more. So, yeah, always good to know. And then we go into Age of Sigma. I'm really looking forward to when I can turn the page and say we, we're going to go into the old world. But, alas, not yet, not yet. Uh, so, yeah, the um, let's move you out of the way. So I've got miniatures and stuff everywhere on this desk at the moment. So yeah, the conclusion of Rondor. And of course we have loads and loads of fluff. Da, 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 da. Now, it reaches the walls of Earthquake City. Subterranean Sabotage. So we've got Battle Plan there. And we've got Battle Plan. And then there is a Battle Report. So we've got Grok, Death Skulls, m Mob. And I really like your Stormcast, they're very cool, I love the colours. I have a lot of blue, if you like your blue, it's a very blue battle report. Um, so yeah, subterranean board, that is really cool. Um, so a very sort of kill team really for Age of Sigma. Um, okay, so, let's, uh, well, yeah, okay, I think that's probably all there is to it. Um, construct an Earthquake City, uh, we've got some... Tiles here, which I guess we'll see their use later. Um, yeah, so they're saying about how they built these walls and stuff, um, which is really cool. Using um, some XPS and some XPVC foam, which is really cool. And then we have a whole section for that. And um, yeah, it's not something we've seen in White Dwarf for a while. Some scratch built terrain. I like it. They do look really cool. And yet yeah, foam walls are so easy to make and they look great. And then we have the Great Siege. So we have the Great Siege Battle Report. So, and then we have all the stuff going on above ground. And that's a really cool army of order. So I really like that. Three players, 5,000 points. And then loads of destruction as well. Have a look at the board of the big wall. Very cool. So of course they're trying to breach the walls. Which is very, very cool. And yeah, um, as always, let's just skip ahead, shall we? So we don't give away the result to anyone who might not want spoilers. Uh, new background quest and rewards for Soul Bright Grave Lords. This is for Warcry. This is really interesting. They've given us like two little tiles there, and that's it. So, yeah, my phone starts dinging. Always oh, starts dinging when I do videos. Uh, we've got soul body quests and traits, battle plans. And then we go into 40k. And we have 
tail of four warlords. So the four new warlords take stage for the 2023 20, series. So, yeah, down to the final four. So we've got World Ears. And we've got Leagues of Botan, and a little bit about the um, Space Marines that were painted in the previous round. We've got some Death Guard, and we've got some Astra Militarum. So yeah, it'd be cool to see how they go for the rest of the year. Um, Arx Omen, Herald of Mis Miseries, the Iron Crusade. Again, lots of stories. Corrupted Bulkhead, so that would be what the um, cards were. So it's really cool, they give you all these different um, things to use in them. Um, these board and missions. And there's all little rules for them and stuff as well. And then some missions. Tactical analysis of the Red Angels Wake mission. And then a peek behind the curtain at design and board and action missions. So a little bit of how, how they're designed and the thought what goes in for them. Okay, so now we go into the Unforgiven. So modern paint and inspiration. At this time, it's for Dark Angels. So I think last month was it Blood Angels. I think it was. Now we've got one for Dark Angels. I really loved this um, uh, Galactic War host. This segment's called. I really loved it in the last one, and I'm glad they're continuing with it. I love the banner there. Very cool. Beautiful, beautiful Deathwing army there. They're going to look so cool with the newer, larger town layers. Mixing in some of the parts and that's going to look really nice. And then we have some Dark Angels here. Uh, Stewards of the Sanctum. So, another um, homebrew successor chapter. Really cool, I like the um, sort of two different greens going on there. That's very cool. There's the Dark Talon. Uh, yeah, completely forgot the name of it, but now I know. Uh, we've got a tactical war suit there. I really like the librarian. Simple but effective. Very cool. Use of a little owl. Fantastic. Yeah, I'd probably go on a different head for a Dark Angel. That's more of a Blood Angel type head, but still it's awesome. You can't deny it. It's a very cool conversion, that one. Another ancient, really nice. I mean, that banner's very handy. Although that banner's even better. That's fantastic. Got some Outriders for Ravenwing as well. Really nice. Good use of uh, conversion parts there. Lazarus, a Lieutenant, and another Ancient. We need more banners in 40k, I think. Don't need more banners. We've got a Chaplain on bike. Some more Outriders. They look really cool. Although I do prefer the um, Corvus helmets. They just sort of scream Ravenwing to me, don't they? Um, don't know about you, but very Ravenwing, but yeah, they're really nice. Space Marine the Heroes here for a Dark Angels successor chapter of Knights of the Shrouded Skulls. Again, a really nice colour scheme. Uh, I do love the sort of halved and quartered colour schemes. I've never done one myself. That's something I'll have to do. I'm making a little kill team of different chapters, so I'm going to have to find one that is halved or quartered to add to that, I think. It'd be quite cool. I've got another chaplain as well, very sweet. I really like that. The Maze of Malice. So, a uh, Sky Splinter Assassin negotiates a web for the sea, so a little kill team story here. Apprehend a prisoner, a free player narrative mission for Kill Team. That is quite cool. That I quite like um sort of free player stuff. Um yeah, that's difficult sometimes, but um yeah, I'd like to see more of it because that's pretty cool. It's just another way of playing, isn't it? Uh we've got some rules for Frowl and Prisoner for the mission. And some strategic and tactical ploys. Linebreaker, so the Vindicator rumbles into the battlefield of the 31st millennium. 
a little mission there, and one there, and another one here. Then we've got part five of the Grumbindle cereal. So, quite a lot there to be honest. And look at this big chap. That is very cool. So that's a McFarlane toy Chaos Space Marine. So, yeah, that's one way of um, converting them up. That is fantastic. And we've got some Lumineth and some. Uh, skinks. I was going to say orcs then because they were green, but uh, look, actually look down properly, there's some skinks. Um, Blood Angels Eliminators, some Armagers, and Hex Paints Hunters. Uh, next issue, Enter the White Dwarf Bunker. So, yeah. And that was 489. So, yeah, the Dark Angels segment, very cool. Hope we'll see more of them. Uh, Space Wolf one will be quite nice. Um, maybe even for different armies, some things would be quite nice, but for Space Marines it's quite easy because they have successor chapters and all sorts. Um, but yeah, really cool. And yeah, a little bit of scratch-built terrain there. Hopefully we'll see more of that in the future, but I think I said that last time they done it, and it's probably about a year ago. So, who knows. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, what's it, June 2023 issue of the White Dwarf Magazine. Hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, um, feel free to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.